session. So, all right, here we go. Welcome everyone. This is the one year anniversary of All In On Real Estate. I'm your host, Aaron Goins. Um, I started this meetup because when I was in the military, no one in my circles talked about real estate in the military. They talked about debt. They talked about other finance, but nothing about real estate. And I wanted to start a meetup where people can start, can talk about real estate and build generational wealth for them and their families. So I am very, very excited. I picked, this is, this is a handpicked person for the guest speaker for the one year anniversary. The reason why is because this guy has uh, impacted me in a positive way over the last year of our friendship has really blossomed. We was in roommates at a conference. I persuaded him to come to a conference uh, so that uh, we can hang out and, and, and um, self-develop together. Also, this guy retired from his W-2 job. And more importantly, he has a nickname that he's going to stick with for the rest of his life that we gave him. So, and his mentor who's on here helped him and persuaded him, I, I try to, about his dinner series that he want to do that I'm really excited for. So, so I want to introduce my main man, Mr. Lawrence Laddie, Mr. International. What's going on, man? You on mute? You on mute, Lawrence? Hi, come on, Lawrence. You on mute? Come on, hey, thank you, man. Aaron. How you Lawrence? doing? I muted myself. I know, right? I muted myself because I don't want to no noise in the background, and I forgot to put on a mute. Well, I mute myself. But first of all, Aaron, I want to say thank you for um, inviting me on as a guest, right? And number two, and more important than anything else. Congratulations on your first one year anniversary of um, Meet on the Meetup, right? On the Meetup platform. It's, um, it's amazing, right? I remember you started a journey last year, and look at that. that that's, that's, that's called dedication, right? That's called dedication. So, um, once again, congratulations, man. Thank you. I, I tell you like this you, Claudia, um, and a few others, man, have been here from the, from the start, man. I, I couldn't do this without you guys uh, being here and supporting every week. I really appreciate that. And, you know, it's a small but mighty group. And uh, I really appreciate everybody in here. I really appreciate the guest speakers that we had over the years. I mean, over the last year. And uh, But like I said, I, I couldn't ask for a better guest speaker, um, somebody who has the best quotes in the game. So let's get started, man. Let's get started. <laughs> man, thank you. Thank you. You know, the, the topic the topic here was, was supposed to be about um, creating real, doing real, real estate and um, creating um, um, legacy wealth. I think that's what it was, mm -hmm. right? But there's, only, there's, only, there's a few, there's only one way you can start that, right? It's not by um, looking at deals, deal flow. It's not about um, underwriting. It's not about LOIs. It starts with mindset, right? It starts with mindset. That's what it starts with, right? Mindset. Now, I'm not a mindset coach. I'm not under the gym Rohn. I don't have no that. But what happens is I've been reading books, right? And reading books. And last year, at the end of the last, October of last year, I started um, listening to motivational tapes, right? On YouTube, like Motiversity. And I've been getting quotes up and down. And Jerome has sent me, right? Has sent me stuff like Ed Milet. And when I told him about ET, he sent me, I don't know who ET was, right? I want to thank Aaron for that too. And telling Jerome, Jerome sent me a, I don't know. He gets the time, you know. He got he he gets time for a lot, so many things. He sent me something for et for et, right? And I looked and I was like, wow, this is awesome, you know. But the mindset is is a thing that we all need to do, but with the mindset that we have, we get right. And mindset is about about perspective also. Because I have this quote here. I was listening to going through BJ's the other day, and I heard it. And I had to stop and write it down. It says here, your perspective can either become your prison, or your passport. It can either arrest you or release you, right? So um, I listen to stuff and just read stuff and write stuff down. But I believe in mindset. Part of my mindset is also reading books, right? This year, my goal, I am going to read 40 books, right? Last year, I had 18. Give me if I did 29. This year, I am going to read 40 books. As a matter of fact, I'm on my fourth book already for the year. Right, mm -hmm. so it's all about reading. You got to read. Riff. Anybody can tell me what Riff is? Anybody? Riff. Raise your hand if you know. Say it, Ray. Say it, Ray. Reading is fundamental. Bam! There you go. Reading is fundamental. Right? I don't care what you what they want to say here. You got to read. 
right? Because if you look at the back, my background, it says your level of success will seldom exceed your level of development, right? Because I can't see it. Because success is something you attract by what you become, right? And that's what it's about, right? You got, it's an inside job first and foremost. But even before, after the mindset, right? After the mindset comes on, now we got to move on another thing, right? That's called networking, right? Networking, right? And what happens is that because we are now on this platform, the Zoom platform, right? It's, we haven't done the handshaking yet, but now we're loosening up a little bit, but we're going to go to live events, right? So we may, we may have forgotten how and the, how we need to act when we go to these events now, right? Because we're on a Zoom thing, right? You got, you got, you know, you got your underwear on and then you got your shirt on your top, right? <laughs> right? Or you got your shorts on, you're in your bed popping up on a thing. No, it's time to get serious, right? Let me tell you what I do, right? I don't know what it is. I've been so used to this. Even since the Zoom platform began, when I was working, I would come in, get to work, leave work, right? If I wasn't at work, and I go take a shower, shave, and everything else, right? I don't even go in no place, but it, but it's just that I'm not, that's not a habit from doing it before. So let's talk remember about habits, right? Right? The habits, discipline. Discipline creates habits. Our habits create discipline, one or the other, right? So now if you're going to network, when you're going out, I call the four P's, right? Networking is about the four P's. The first P is positivity, right? The second P is prosperity. The third P is produce. And the fourth P is, I'm sorry, patterns, then produce, right? So the third P is patterns. The fourth one is produce, right? So now let's talk about positivity. When you come to a meetup, whether it's on the screen or not on the screen, right? You got to come prepared. Prepared to smile, right? Show your pearly whites and 32s you got, right? Right? There you go. That mom, that, there you go. That's it, Dudley. That's it, Sean, right? Everybody, like this. Look. So, well, here you go, everybody. Here you go. Right? Look that. There you go. Because there's more, there's less muscles to smile than like this. When you do the smile, when you frown, there's a whole lot of muscles being used, right? So, got to be positive, right? And when you're positive, that means you are allowing somebody to come towards you. You're not, you're not like, my mother mommy said you can attract more flies with honey than you can with vinegar, right? So that's you got to you attract people to you. This or that serious look like that's that's not attract nobody, right? You got to show positivity, right? And in that part, you got to be energizing. You can't be like, hey, how you doing? Okay, right? You got to come out there and energize. Hey, shake. Hey, Claudia, how you doing? Right? Good to see you, right? And shake people's hands, right? Because I know we've been on the screen a long time and some folks also have forgotten their networking abilities, right? So you got to come out there smiling, dressed right, right? Don't come out there and say, this ain't the, um, like this, this is not the screen no more. When you go on these meetings, I don't be uncommon amongst common people, right? Be uncommon amongst common people, right? There's a lot of people out here come out here in jeans and mm -mm, jeans and deck shoes. I'm looking, I'm going to tell you, Mason, about my upbringing, but I'm coming spiffy casual, right? Shirt, looking, looking pressed and ready to impress, right? Um, we're here at the meetup, at any place, any networking event, we're here to create relational capital, not transitional, transactional capital, okay? We're here to create relations, right? Deep relationships with people. People do people not because of what you got. They do because they like, know, like, and trust you. It's like a funnel, right? The know, the like, the trust, and the bottom of the funnel is a small piece. Those people are going to be willing to invest in you, right? Now, everybody's going to invest in you, but they're going to know, like, and trust you. So, we're going to create meaningful relationships with people. We're not looking to create, like I said before, transaction, meaningful relationships. And how do we do that? Okay, here's how we're going to do this. Derek, how you doing, Derek? I can't, you're, you're a mute like me. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm great, great, great. And how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, Derek. So, where where are you from? I'm Seattle, Washington. Oh, you oh you know Aaron? Well, I've talked to him before. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living? Um, I work for the city of Seattle as the IT project manager, and um, what that's what I do for work. And I got a lot of things I do for fun. Oh, so so what do you do? For, what do you do for recreation? Is it a lot of fun? What do you do? I like to travel. Um, <laughs> been pretty much everywhere except for I got to get to Africa. Um, mm -hmm. And COVID right now is you know. Okay. Me what what right country? What, which, which country you like the best? Um, so far, London. Hey, um, yeah, my favorite national city right there. Okay. Yeah. So you married kids? Um, married, got four kids. Um, two are in college age or older. Um, one's in college and the other one just started working at a bank. Um, you guys probably heard of Howard University. That's where my um, daughter is. Yeah, HU, um, boom, boom. Yeah. Bison territory. Yes. I'm going um, there too. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. And um, I paid my money for that college. So I, I went to that college. <laughs> oh, you did? That's no, great. My, no, no. My daughter went there and I paid for it. So therefore, oh, I am you part went of there that. too. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Derek, thank you for good talking to you. Good meeting you, man. Good meeting you. Right? So you see how that worked? You see how it worked? I didn't ask Derek to tell Derek, Listen, I got I, me, and they talk about I again, me. No, I talked about Derek, right? That's what you remember. Derek is the focus, not you, not how great I art. Look at me, what I do. We try and create relational capital, right? So, how do you create relational capital? The F O R D. What's that, you may ask? Ford, not the car, right? Family, occupation. Recreation and dreams. That's when you tell the people family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Right? That's that it's so simple, right? It's very simple. A lot of times people come, I'm gonna tell you, I go into rooms, sometimes breaking rooms sometime. I went to break room last week. This person, they start talking about a deal they have and how much money they need. I don't know you from a hole in the wall. Who are you, right? Who are you, right? Don't forget that it's not about deals. I'm not going to deal if I, I'm not going to do a deal if I don't know you. The K L T, right? I. The last is invest, but it's like you know what? The K L T I is like a marriage, right? Those who are married knows how this works, right? The person got to know you, and after a while, y'all went on dating. Y'all had a little date, right? I see everybody shaking their head, right? Then you went a date, and after a while you got, you know, I like this, I like this guy, this girl. Okay, I like her. You're smiling. She's telling you 32s, right? And then after a while, you know, you, you, you invite each other to the house, you go around, and they you know you invite somebody to somebody's, somebody's house, and you just you feel at ease, you like, you like trust them. And next thing you know, they're investing in you. How they invest in you? By marrying you, right? And you marrying them. That's what KLT is about. So it's the same thing in business. Because in real estate and business, it is a marriage. Right? So you got to know people, like people and trust people. Right? So also when you're, when you're in a room, are you in, in, in a face-to-face -face meetup? Or if you're at a conference, be quick to listen and slow to speak. Listen to learn and learn to listen. Right? I got, I got another thing too. Take the count of your ears and put it in your mouth, right? <laughs> just listen. Just talk to somebody and let them talk. And if they say something else, right? Like, Derek, if I keep the conversation going, tell me more about your kids. How old are they? Really? What do they do? Right? Right? And that breaks the wall down for you, right? And that's how people get to know you more. And then they get to like you because you they're going to leave. Derek's going to leave the conversation. Like, that guy's so nice. You know why? Because he, you talk about him, talk about him. Who's the most important person on earth? You are. That's what, you, that's what it is, right? That's it. So we talked about positivity, right? Now we're going to talk prosperity. 
But the prosperity you're talking about here is prosperity that you give, you gained, and you're about to give it away, right? How do you get prosperity? By, by reading books, right? Listen to podcasts, creating value, right? Let me say it again. Creating value to be given away. You give value away like candy to a kid, right? I shouldn't be saying that because everybody, this, this social times, right? But you want to give candy away, right? Give it away, right? If you're reading, somebody asks you, what's your next book? You haven't read. What, what book you reading? You haven't read. What are you going to tell them, right? So if somebody, oh, Gap, that's the next book in the book club. Yep, Gap Gain. Okay, it's another plug for some another book club, right? But reading is fundamental. So create prosperity, right? You have to, how can I put this? You got to educate yourself, right? That's the bottom line. You got to educate yourself. Educate yourself, be prepared. Therefore, you can give things away, right? If your cup is full, you can fill, you can pour into somebody else, right? You can pour into somebody else. That's all it's about, pouring into somebody else. Part, that's part of KLT, right? Part of KLT. Pour it into somebody else. Pour what you have into somebody else. Giving it away, right? Uh, there's a saying that I've heard, right? In my um, um, how can I put this in my um group, right? It's called you're saying you can't keep it if you don't give it away, right? If you keep on not to yourself, it's worthless. It's worthless, right? Um, give away information. Have the collaborative mindset, right? Um, reaching out to people. Right? Don't just sit in a room and you're in a room and you're just talking. Reach out to people, right? Let them know what's going on with you. Help, ask them what's going on with them. They, they start talking. What, what, can you, what are you reading? You know, what have you done, right? Give them the knowledge. And if you know somebody who can, who can help them connect to somebody, do that too. This is not about keeping it to yourself, right? This is a team sport. And networking is about teaming up with somebody to create a relationship. It takes two. Right. The third one is patterns, creating patterns. This is real simple. Go into one meetup. Like let's see you on a Zoom platform, and you go to you come to Aaron's meetup tonight, first time. And now next week, then nobody sees you. Two weeks down the road, three weeks down the road, we see you again. Right. You create a pattern of not showing up. We don't know, nobody knows you, right? For me, when I was at when I was at work, all, that's probably because I was also a um, I was stuck where I was at at work, right? I was a captive audience. I did ten meetups a week, ten a week, right? And that's how I got to be known, right? Because I created a pattern. Even when I we had with face to face meetups, meetups in person, I went to the same meetup every week. I if there was overtime. Nope, I had to go to the meetup. Right, I went to the meetup. You gotta create patterns. Um, be consistent in attending meetups. That's the bottom line. Being consistent. All right. Also, come early, stay late. Right. Don't come in at seven. The meetup is at seven. Come in at seven fifteen. Right. Come early. Right. When you come early, you're gonna use the positivity because guess what? if you're there early, right, and the only person there is the the, the host, you can be the greet at the door. Hey, how you doing? They be like, who's this guy? Who's that girl? Right? But they don't know you. They don't even know. They don't, you're not even part of the other. You're just attendee too, but they don't know that. Right? And then stay late. That's why I, I used to help people out, set the chairs up, right? And stay late, right? And we could talk and go out to eat. Right? See, these are things you got to do. If you want to get ahead in this business, in life, your network is your net worth, okay? Um, patterns create habits. Once you start doing this, it becomes a habit. Once you start making me, if you go two weeks, three weeks in a row, you're gonna, this becomes a habit. You're gonna make that, right? I stopped, when I started my meetup, I stopped working overtime because it's mine, right? When I wasn't, when I was going to face-to-face -face meetings, I'm not working overtime, I have to go, right? Because I want to create a pattern 
so people can see me. Also, when you're consistent, that also part plays and creates the KLT factor. Know, like, and trust. Because the more people who see you, they get to know you, right? And if they see you, keep on seeing you, they get to like you. And if then we start, when you start using this, the four Ps, you start talking to them, they're going to get to trust you. And that's what you want to gain, trust the people, okay? Oh, so now we're going to talk about the fourth and last one, produce, right? I have fallen short last few years on this part here. Don't do what I do. Don't fall short, right? I'm showing up myself this year. I'm strengthening myself. Produce, follow up. Follow up. Don't get a bunch of business cards like I did and don't follow up, right? I did that. I'm not gonna lie, I did that, right? Had a, I threw away, I spoke, to, I spoke to my coach about these business cards thing, right? He said, um, he threw them away. This is like four years ago, five years ago, right? Maybe why I didn't call because things get, got in my way. I, I forgot, I didn't call that has fell to the wayside. So this year here, I am making sure that I follow up, follow up, follow up. Execute the follow up. That's what produce is. Email, text, LinkedIn DM. Hey, just staying, reaching out to say hello, right? Don't be like this guy I met on the, in the beginning of this, this plan, that was on, it was on Meetup. Hey, listen, I'd love to talk to you. So I said, sure, let's, let's, we can talk. As soon as I got on the phone, hey, listen, man, I got a great opportunity for you. It's a multi-level marketing. Wait a minute. <laughs> Once again, who are you, right? That's not how you follow up. You want to follow up. So listen, nice, great meeting you last night. Great talking to you last night. Um. That's it, right? Keep it simple. K I, I like that. K I S S. You know the other S is for, but I won't say it because I want to be socially acceptable. <laughs> keep it simple. It's called keep it simple, stupid. That's what it's called, really, right? You got to keep things simple. Keep a simple message. Great meeting you last night. Great talking to you last night. Right? Maybe get together for a cup of coffee down the road, right? You just never know, but always. And also when you put the put in there, I like to put their name. Great talking to you last night, Ken. Great talking to you last night, Rhonda, right? Great talking to you last night, Nola, Angel, Desmond, Tenacious Dudley, right? Right, great talking to you. Say the person's name. And even put in a little bit about what you talked about last night. It was great talking to you last night about your kids, Right? Hope everything's okay. Have a great day. That's it. Ain't no talking about, listen, now, great talking to us. Now, listen, I got a deal. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's that coming from? Right? Just remember that. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Right? Um, your network is your net worth. Right? So that's the four Ps. Let's not forget them. Positivity. Prosperity. Patterns and produce, right? All those are very important in creating a value to your business and your network. Now, some of the books I recommend that I've read, right? Some of the books I've read, your network is your net, your network is your net worth. Porter Gale, right? Great book. Networking like a pro, the godfather of networking, Ivan Meisner. Right. Anything with Ivan Meisner, read. If you go on Clubhouse, he was on Clubhouse last year. He spoke about an hour and a half on Clubhouse with Ivan Meisner. And they, be, they recorded it. He's also on something. He was also, also on something else. Um, Ivan Meisner, right? And if you don't know who Ivan Meisner is, Ivan Meisner is the founder of BNI, the Business Network, Network International, Business Network International. That's a worldwide organization with about 500, over 500,000 people in it right? It's about networking. It's about networking, right? How to Work a Room by Suzanne Rowan, 
and the art of small talk, Deborah Fine. Right? And um, let me say this. Your level of success, success will seldom exceed your level of development because success is something you attain by the person you become. So thank you, Aaron, for letting me speak and sharing here tonight. I appreciate it very much. Hey, before you finish. Yes, sir. Talk about, talk about the three C's. And I used it last night. Actually, I used one of the C's last night. Three C's. Um, congratulate. Com compliment, congratulate, and um, consult. So, consult, right? So we got, I, I got that also. We got that from um, ET and his, that was um, Eisner. He's a, he is a part owner of the Atlanta, I forgot, the Atlanta Hawks. Oh, yeah. He talked about that, the three C's. So put that into your, into your, into your vocabulary also. Con after you make connections with people, congratulate them, right? You don't have to know them. Say, listen. Somebody closed last last week. Congratulations! It don't listen. Being nice does cost you nothing. It's free. It's free, right? What was the last one? Counsel or console? Well, console. 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 Congratulate. Compliment. Console. So, right. And the reason why we're saying that is you, you you can you can go on and tell them about uh, what Mr. Eisner was talking about, but. I had to use that last night, Lawrence, because, you know, when you when you hear bad news, right? What what, what did Dougie Fresh do? Uh, now, obviously, he must know a lot. Of, he's, he's in a celebrity status, so he knows people. Something happened to his family. Something happened to his media family. Dougie Fresh didn't. He said he said Dougie Fresh didn't say, "Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear that." Dougie Fresh came to his door, knocked on the door, and consoled him personally, right? So that that leaves a big impression on people. So when you you got to think about impression, leave impress people. But listen, let's let, let's backtrack right here too. Impress with your heart, right? Impress mm -hmm. with your heart. Know your motives, right? Know your motives, because sometimes people people can read through BS. Right, people can read through BS. So, if, if you do anything, do it from your heart, not from a point of what I'm gonna get out of this. Right, do it from your heart. Everything should be from your heart. When you're talking to people, it should be from your heart. You know, it should be from your heart. Also, I forgot to say one thing: when you're talking to people, being positive, when you're talking to people, keep your eye focused on them, right? Not on this room here. Who's coming through the door? And turn your cell, that, that cell phone off when you're in a meeting. If you're there to learn at a conference, why is your cell phone on? And don't look at cell phone when you're talking to people. Ah, that's a no-no, right? Because the most important person is not you, it's them, right? I'm going to have to add that in there. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> right? So that, that's just it. I like to keep, keep coming from your heart, that's all. Come from your heart. It's come from your heart. Don't come to the point of what's, what's in it for me, what's next for me. If I get to talk to this guy, maybe I'll do this. I can just shower him with mielda, right? Don't do that. Come from your heart, right? As a man, as a man's face reflects in the water, so does his heart reflect how he feels inside. That's not, that's not, that's, that's a quote straight from Proverbs. I think caught up in the book. That's the book I read. I read too, right? Be true. Man, man, I was I was waiting for that 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 lasting quote, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that Which was quote was that? Uh, this in Mr. National Quotes. I'm just what you know, you known for the quotes. And, and, and your quotes are so real and, and so true. So it's not like it's it's, it's some make believe you know, fictional stuff too. So I mean, I, was, I love that, man. I love that. Um, anybody have any questions for Mission International? I mean, we didn't even talk about your real estate history. We we wanted we talked about uh real life stuff because, like you said, I mean, when you when you go into conferences, when you meet people. Uh, the first impression is is a really big is really big is the biggest. 
Um, and, and people need to hear that. So anybody in question of Miss International? I got a question. Hello, everyone. Hey. My name is uh, Fisher, is Ellis Dudley. I'm just a tenacious badass. Okay. Um, but, listen, uh, yeah, listen, there's a book, there's a book you need, there's a book you need to read. You're a badass. There's yeah, a man. Of course, man. I love what you're saying. Uh, I just had a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. What excites you the most so far in this life, Mr. Warren? What, what excites what you the excites most? Me? Um, it's not, it's, I think it's my gra the gratitude I have, right? That's what excites me. Gratitude is what excites me because, okay. um, you know, I, like I'm an open book. <laughs> you know, here's what I tell people. Um, we ain't in a relationship, so you know what? You don't like it, that's on you, right? But the bottom line is for me, is like I've been clean 33 years, right? So therefore, right, it's gratitude in my attitude. Right? It's the gratitude I have for life because it didn't have to be this way, but for the grace of God, right? So that's just, that's how I feel. Yeah, thanks for that. I find myself connecting with people and I'm a big mouth and I got to, I guess a, a network of people that I connected with in college and everything like that. And just reaching back to those people who pour into me and built me up and just showing that gratitude makes me feel really good about who I am and where I'm going. So I concur with that, man, definitely. That gratitude you, is and being grateful. That's it. If you're yeah. not grateful for what you got, there's something wrong. Because I tell you, know, I told somebody the other day, oh, this is, you know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm even going to say that. Today I was talking to somebody, right, on the phone. They live in Chicago. And I want them to speak at my at a at a, my fellowship. And they said to me that they're blind. So I said, How, how did you know? How, she said, How have you been blind? She said, The person said, Well, since like the last 13, 14 years. I said, So what happened? She said, I'm gonna tell you when I well, I'll talk about that when I when I talk at the meeting. She said, But she you knows she said, she said, here's what she's saying. Don't don't cry for me, Argentina. This this is this is how this is how it is, and that's how it is. And that's it. Right? So that's like, that was, it took my breath away. I was like, ooh, okay, right? So it's, it's, it's gratitude you have for where you at. As long as you're still standing, that means you can, there's more improvement to be made. Claudia, you got anything? I think Ken raised his hand. I don't know, Ken, do you, I'll go after him. <laughs> yeah, you do have a question, but. Um, no, as always, great, great uh, information, Lawrence. This, um, one of the, I wouldn't say good things, but one of the side products the last couple of years is everyone's on Zoom now, but as stuff starts to open up and like he, the meetups are transitioning back to go in person, how do you, how will you like um, start maintaining your network and, and your relationships if the meetups go from the virtual vote to the meetup and say your target market say it's either North Carolina or the, the Southeast or Kansas City or out West, because it, you, you build up a great a relationship here, what are some of your strategies or what do you plan to do to help solidify those relationships uh, as the meetups go from like, you know, now I'm sure some meetups will stay virtual, but as meetups go from like virtual to in-person, you might lose that, that connection that you have on a week to week basis, you see them every week, that pattern, how do you sort of like, how, what are some strategies of maintaining those relationships? Well, I think, the, I mean, terms of my, <clears throat> that's a great question, Ken. Maintain relationships, how you gonna do that? Is by reaching out, right? The last P, produce, right? You're gonna reach out to people still and keep in touch with people, right? Right, they call they somebody they 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 I think tag the words making touches right, so you're gonna touch people, like if you touch people every two weeks, if if they, if you if you're not gonna be able to go if it becomes when it, when the meetups do come back face to face if the, the people here not here then you gotta reach out and touch you should, anybody should have numbers anybody's numbers by now, some people some people don't even rec don't even recognize the numbers that they do have hey angel, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Everybody, you know what? Everybody should have everybody's number by now. Everybody should have everybody's number. We've been on this for almost two years. If you don't have anybody's number that you've been a meeting on and a certain meeting you go to all the time, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. You should have everybody, you should have people's number, right? That's what you should have. 
So that's what I'm going to do, Ken. I'm going to continue reaching out to people. That's it. I'm going to continue reaching out to people, no matter what. And as far as a meetup, if it, if it comes to that in person, I'm going to have a hybrid meeting. I will still have a, I will have a hybrid meeting because I'm not going to I'm not going to cut people off that I've met all this time. These last years, let's just like created just to go back to what we were before, which is every meetup would be re, is just regional and local. Here in New York City, you got the Bronx, you got the five boroughs in Westchester. So everybody had to meet up in different places and nobody knew nobody. Now, there's people I've met on a meetup, they live in Queens, right? I didn't know them before. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep on reaching out, touching people, talking to people and getting numbers now. And call them back and say, how you doing? Once again, hey, how you doing? Just checking in, what's going on with you? How's the, how's the family? Right? Then say, you know, how, how, how's business going? Don't start how's business going. How's the family doing? Right? Leave with being personable. Leave being personable. Hey, speaking of personable, could you uh, go in about your dinner series that you did you, did you talk to you, the coach okay. about and you're doing? Okay. So for those who don't know, I was... I was asked to go into Atlanta, met Aaron, right? Aaron, Aaron sort of, he didn't sort of, he did. He's a bully. Um, he uh, he would to be ET was there, right? Eric Thomas. And I was at him and Han. He said, come on, man, come on, so we can meet. I said, okay, I'll go. And see, that's why books are so important to me, right? And books be important to you. Because I read this book called Mastermind Dinner. Right, and it's by oh my, it's, uh, when you read these books, sometimes it's hard to remember everybody's name, but I have it here under my. This is um. Anyway, I read this book, Mastermind Dinner. I said, you know what? Why not give a mastermind a dinner? Oh, the book is by Jason Gagnard, right? Why not give a dinner? And that's what I did. So me and Aaron teamed up, and we gave a mastermind dinner in Atlanta. And as a matter of fact, I was on as, you know, cause this is what, this is what it's about too, reaching other people. There's somebody in Atlanta, I don't know them. I don't know them from a whole new world, right? Her name is Amber Lawson. She's a um, general contractor down there. I seen her on LinkedIn, right? A few times. So I called her, I, I called her on the phone and I was driving a call and talk about, yeah, well, this is me going to master my dinner. She said, I'll be there. And she came. Right? Um, it's about not being afraid, right? Not being having no having, fear can fear can be in like fear can be in a in with you in the car, but you can't fear can't drive, right? And um we started that I started that dinner there, and then somebody said to me, they they had an attitude, right? How can you go to Atlanta, have a dinner in Atlanta and don't have one in New York? I'm sorry. So we had one in New York, right? And um, we had people come. Desmond was Desmond, then Desmond make it. He, he was working. Sorry, Des. Next one we have in that. Come on, man. All right, right. We had people come out to that also. As a matter of fact, we had in, in Atlanta. Somebody flew out from Texas to come to Atlanta, and the one in New York. We had New Jersey, the New York metro area. Somebody flew out from Texas to come to one in New York, right? So um, then we had another one. And this year I'm having one and the first one's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a four, four different uh, locations. The first one's gonna be in Miami in the, the first weekend of April. The second one's gonna be in Charlotte. The third one's gonna be in the DMV area, right? And the fourth, is la the last stop is gonna be in New York City. God willing, right? So, um, well, well, I got to say this too. There will be a international dinner in in the Seattle here too as well. So I'm I'm going oh. to set one up here in the Seattle area, one too. So yes, yeah. There you go. There I've you already go. talked to a couple people about it. It's just that you know we have some. We're really conservative because COVID wise here. So but we right. have one That's here. It. That's it. Well, I'll come. 
Nice. Okay. Congratulations, bro. Listen, you you hit it on cylinders, man. First year, one year anniversary. You gonna start a dinner up there too? That's what it's all about. Well, I I, I gotta I gotta congrat I gotta you know give a congratulate to Jerome because somebody did pitch this a long time ago about an international Miss International Dinner Series, but you know Jerome was the final decider on you know oh that's a good idea oh yeah hey that's a good idea. Well, I, I had to run it by my coach. Got to run it by the coach, right? <laughs> Listen, I've learned a few things. Um, there is value in asking other people, and don't go by your own uh, your own mind. You're right about that. You're right about that. You're right Ask about people that. who know. Therefore, you won't hit the you won't don't go hit the speed bump and fall over, right? Hey, I, I don't. I want to say this too. I mean, I'm um, I'm I'm very very um, appreciative of this meetup and the growth that people I've seen here over the last year. Um, like yourself, Lawrence, uh, like my man, Robert Aragona, uh, Claudia with Claudia's Corner. Desmond, you know, he he was at first, he was kind of quiet. Now Desmond out talking to people and, and <laughs> defending himself out there, you know. Um, Angel with her getting her property and everything she had to go through to get that property. You know, I mean, my man, Kenneth Hines, who was so quiet, but now he's on podcasts. Wait, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, even, even, though, even, though, even though he still doesn't look at the screen, I'm proud of my <laughs> brother right there for everything he does and how much he's grew. So I'm really, I'm really proud of, of, of the development of people over the last year too. It's been great to, to host this and see the development of people. And I'm mm-hmm. really, really proud of, of the circle um, that we have. You know, we're not the biggest part, not the biggest meetup, but I'm just really, really, really thankful. I know you're going to say something. I'm really, you know really, you're not gonna say, but you know, I know, gonna say I know, I know what you're gonna say, but I'm really, really you know what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I know, say, I know, I know, I, did, I didn't get this. I'm gonna tell you, I didn't get this. This is not for me. This is from the Myers methods, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I just told my, oh my god, he's you know, Jerome said it's not the quantity, it's, <laughs> it's, the quality. Quality. <laughs> it's not the quantity, it's the quality. The quality. Right? Right. The quality that comes on, that's what makes a difference. If right. there's only five people, me, me, Aaron, and Mark, we went through this when we first, when we first started, we was going through this all the time. Oh, I got, listen, folks, let's stop. Because that creates a negative impact in your head. Right? It starts screaming, hitting it. Whoever's there is meant to be there. Yeah. Whoever ain't there, they missing out. That's it. They right. missing out. Right? So it's not the quant the the quantity the quantity it's also the quality, and you know I mean if it's, listen, Aaron you, you you've been you have been a great plus you helped me you've been leader because last year, you know Aaron had guests up until was it July August night, and here I was floundering every week, <laughs> got to come up for air right, I need a guest I got to find a guest right and he made me see that that's the easier path to go. And also, I made it my I made a decision that I'm going to find guests this year way at a time, right? That's some that's some, that, was my, that was my my goal for this month, and my goal this month has been set already, right? I've got I got two slots left, right up until June. You you're, you're right, Angel. We all like a, we all like a family on here. Um, yeah. One one day, one day, I hope my main man Jason will come on here and grace his presence on the meetup. So um, that's 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 a, that's that's another task. That's a sidebar. But one thing, another thing about Angel as well is that her meetup started very small, where it was only two of us, and then Jason mm-hmm. that has developed that much. Daryl's meetup has has grown. So. Um, you know, Mark is on a, on a podcast, so it's just great to see the development of, of everybody, and, and I'm really excited for the future uh, of a lot of people on here, because I know it's very, very bright. Uh, for instance, the lovely TJ, now she has an Airbnb in Dominican Republic that she, that she got. You know, she's really expanding her brand. You know, um, everything, everything's not easy for, for no one, but I'm just really, really excited for everybody's future and, and yeah. it's how everybody has grown. Man. It's, it's really, really, um, it's been a delight. It's been a pleasure to see everybody. So, and, and see that. 
And, uh, you know, 2022, I told people, 2022 is going to be a great, great year. Um, it takes a lot of hard work, you know, to achieve your dreams, but it's well worth it. And uh, we all are moving forward towards that. So anybody have any more questions? Hey, national? No, well, I don't have any questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I do. I wanted to ask. So, um, you know, thank you for being here and talking about like mindset. I think that's that's so important. Self development, like reading books and like improving yourself, right? Like, I feel like there's always room for improvement and being better than the day before, or the year before. Always making sure that mm -hmm. you, right? You you are your measure of success and not like you comparing yourself to other people. Mm -hmm. And so, as far as like that aspect of mindset and, uh how did you get into it and when have you um has it been more powerful to you or more present is it more recently or have you always well followed that path well let me say this you know what i started doing amway in 1992 i believe right i started amway in 1992 i was playing i was playing racquetball and this this guy and he's like yo you'd be great in in amway you know he told me and so i liked it but they were reading amway reminded me of the fellowship because you gotta get a sponsor Right, somebody help you out. I'm like, is this is this a is this a like a twelve step program? <laughs> it, but come to find out that Jay Van Andel, right, one of the owners anyway, was in AA. So that's how that's how it came around. But then they also talk about reading books, right? Think and Grow Rich, right? Um, all those books, as a man thinketh, right? Multi-level marketing, all those books, these positive, does, they, they, they had a book, they had books, on the, they had like when you bought books, they had books there you could buy, right? That's where it started coming from. But I fell off of that, I fell off of that, right? But still, still, because I still read books, right? I still, I didn't read a lot of books, like I read now, like truth, like maybe one or two a year at best, right? But year before last, when this pandemic came around, right, I was sitting and I said, you know what? I'm going to read 39 books. Right? And um, I read why 29. Yeah, why, why 39? Why 39? I just put down 39. Right? I, just put down, I don't know where the number came from. I just put down 39. I read 29 books. Right? And I don't hear, I don't listen to Audible. I put them, I read them. Right? I read them. And I read them for my Kindle because when I was at work, when I was working, I was taking a book with me it was sort of hard sometimes because if you're taking a train, you gotta take a train someplace, right? And come back. So I'd rather just have the Kindle so I can read at work. Plus, also, when I, me being a, I was also leading Sunday school. So what happens if I have my commentary, the Bible, I couldn't bring it to work. <laughs> That'd be, I'd be taking the whole, the whole, I'd take up the whole desk, right? Nobody can sit down. So, that's what got me to the Kindle more. And then putting the books in there, it's like, it's great. And that's what I started reading. So that's what I started, started from really from 1992. But I slacked off. And then like two years ago, I think it was two years ago, that's what I really got into when I made that 39, because last year I read 18. I really slacked off. But I also joined Julie Holly's book club last year also, right? Also, <laughs> you read 18 like really important books, like pivotal books that, were really big in the space because I know what bo what books you were quoting over this past year. And so you were reading some really important stuff. Thank you. Yes, I was. Yes. Yes. So Julie Hart, Julie was building your brand, coach, right? The four, the four agreements, right? Those are books that Julie. So it just become it comes full circle. Because what's gonna happen is even some, I'm gonna be honest with everybody. I've been honest before, but I, I hate saying that. I'm gonna be honest. That makes, that makes people think that you're being dishonest, right? <laughs> so I noticed myself when I talk some, I did this times when I'm talking, after I finished talking, I'm like, is that me? Like, wow, right? So once you start reading these books and you read them and you're around people such as yourselves, because I, I love being around everybody here. I do, I do, I love this, right? We are, hey, Angel's right, we are family, right? Sister Sledge, now I'm showing my age, disco era. Anyway, we'll stop that. Right? It's just it's just fun being here, right? Because everybody is uplifting, right? Everybody's trying to help each other, not trying, working to help each other, right? Everybody's working to help each other. I almost said, but not to say try for me. Uh, 
right? Yeah. Everybody's working on each other, right? Working, help, working to help each other. And that's, what's, that's the best part, right? Everybody's willing to give, to pour in each other. And that's what it's all about. That's the human spirit. And that's called L-O-V-E. There you go. So, so look, we, we're going to, um, hold on. I got you, Ray. Um, I, I got you, Desmond. Let, let me just finish this off. I'm, I'm in a, so I just want to say once again, thank you guys for coming. Um, it's been a pleasure to host this meetup for a year and as many more to come. Um, I do want to say this. Tell the people you love how much you care about them before it's too late. You never know. And you're never, you're no one's promised tomorrow. Let me repeat this again. No one, I don't care your age, anything like that. No one's promised tomorrow. Tell your loved ones how much you care about them before it's too late. Too many times you can go to a celebration of life and funeral and people say, I wish I would have, could have, should have. Don't be that person. Make a video, call, make a phone call. I don't don't let your ego and pride get in your way. So all I want to say to people, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>